Hello guys, can you tell me the name of this structure or organ? It's difficult. Why? Because you are looking at the diaphragmatic surface of the liver. So this is a liver. But to be able to identify the different divisions of this liver and from which animal it's better to look at the visceral surface of the liver. Now, as we learned before, the first things you have to think about is to find the impression of the right kidney. Here is the location of the right kidney, the renal impression. Find the renal impression, you will know that this part of the liver called the caudate process. If you find the impression of the right kidney and the caudate process, you have to Remember that they are located on the right side. That means this is the right side of the liver. And that means that the, the first part of the liver here on the right side is actually the right hepatic lobe. And now we will start identifying the different parts of the liver from the right to the left. So after the right hepatic lobe, the next structure we can see here is the gallbladder. After the gallbladder toward the left side, we have the quadrate hepatic loop here. After the quadrate hepatic loop, more to the left, we have the left hepatic loop on the left side there. In the middle here, if you can identify this part of the liver, this is the papillary process, which belongs to the caudate loop of the liver in addition to the caudate process. So we have the caudate process and the papillary process. They are the two processes of the caudate hepatic loop. Now watch the next part to get some more information about this liver. Now, what we have to know that comparing to the carnivores, the dog or the cat, for example, you will find here that the right hepatic lobe is not divided into lateral and medial parts. The same is for the left hepatic lobe is not divided into lateral and medial left hepatic lobes. Why is because the complete liver in bovine is located on the right side because of the very big rumen, very big stomach, which extends on the left side from the diaphragm to the pelvis and gives no place for the liver on the cranial or on the left side. That's why the liver is completely located on the right side and it's not affected by the movement of the diaphragm and that's why it should not be divided. And that's why the right hepatic lobe and the left hepatic lobe in the cow, they are both not divided. Quickly identify or find the impression of the right kidney renal impression, you will find the caudate process, find both of them, you will know the right side, and starting from the right side toward the left, we have the right hepatic lobe, the gallbladder, the quadrate hepatic lobe, and the left hepatic lobe. In the middle here, we have the papillary process. See you in the next video.